First, I would like to thank the organizing committee to give me the opportunity to, sh to, sh to share with you today our results about the uh, use of the lactic acid fermentation as means of nutritional improvement of uh, triticum turanicum uh, brand. So, I will start uh, giving a brief introduction of the milling process. As most of you know, the, uh, the milling process has the main objective to separate the endosperm from the other outer layers of the, of the caryopsis. And um, while um, the, the endosperm is used uh, as the, uh, the, the, the raw material for the production of the most bread baked goods, uh, the bread and the bran represent uh, uh, about 27% 20, of uh, cereal milling industry output and they are mainly directed to the feed industry, feed, is, uh, feed formulation industry. Although they preserve a good, very good nutritional quality. So the question is why these products are, are not properly reused or uh, let's say valorized? Well, uh, it has m mainly one reason. For example, when a bread is produced using a reasonable amount of bran, uh, it could lead to uh, several uh, negative aspects as a wet gluten structure, a bad flavor and taste of the final products and finally there is also uh, another factor that is uh, an increased content of the uh, of antinutritive compounds like phytic acids. But recently the application of innovative uh, technology uh, for the pretreatment pre pre -treatment, uh, sorry, of these kind of products have been studied. As an example, the lactic acid fermentation uh, is nothing new because fermentation has always been used as an, in, uh, in an infinite kind of uh, transformed products. And today, lacto lactic acid bac bacteria are uh, recognized for their probiotic effects and, uh, they be, and most important because they are generally recognized as, as safe. So, the aim of the study was to, uh, to study, to analyze and evaluate the quality attribute changes of wet bran uh, by product treated with lactic acid ferment, uh, fermentation using a single and a pure lactic acid lactobacillus strain. The workflow of the experiment starts uh, hydrating the native bran and then sterilize it. Then the inoculum was made uh, at 10 times seven uh, column forming unit of lactic acid bacteria. Uh, in this case, we used um, lact lactobacillus rhamnosus, a uh, specific strain that is the 1473. And then the raw material, the raw material was incubated during uh, 48 hours at 37 degrees. Um, the the, as you can see, there, the red stars and the blue stars refer to uh, pH and mass balance checks and microbiological analysis. And well, I would like to specify two things. That uh, one, the first is the the autoclaving step was made to ensure the microbiological safety of the brand, and uh, the main objective of the autoclaving was to uh, work in a, in a. In, a, in, a, in total absence of interferences. And the second, why uh, we choose the uh, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, this specific strain? Well, mainly two reasons, because it, is, uh, it has a recognized uh, properties of growth and metabolic, uh, metabolic actions. And of course, it's never been used uh, in lactic acid bacteria, in lactic acid fermentation processes of uh, cereal milling byproducts. In fact, it, is, uh, it was isolated from Parmigiano Reggiano cheese making product, and as you can imagine, we are pretty expert in Parma about, uh, about cheese production and cheese consumption also. Uh, consequently, the samples were analyzed for their total phenolic content and the antioxidant activity using three recognized assays. Then the phenolic acid profile was quantitatively determined using a UHP LC uh, MS MS analysis uh, technique and the um, uh, metabolite identification using a linear ion trap mass spectrometry. 
And since uh, the phenolic acids and phenolic compounds in these metrics are present in uh, two forms, uh, mainly the free and the bound forms, and hydrolysis was uh, required. Then uh, the phytic acids and uh, the water extractable arabinoxylan were determined using uh, spectrophotometer assays. The total count, uh, the, sorry, the total uh, viable bacteria were, uh, and the bacterial spores were uh, part of the microbiological analysis. Well, as I said before, the first step uh, was to ensure the safety of the product. Uh, for doing this, the, uh, the total viable bacteria and uh, the spore forming bacteria were quantified before and after the autoclaving step. Uh, the total absence, as you can see, of uh, colonies confirmed the, the, that the autoclaving step worked well. Uh, moreover, uh, after the inoculum, we checked uh, the pH during the fermentation, and the strong acidification of the matrix was found, as you can see uh, here. Then, we, in the same way, we, uh, the, eff the effective growth of the, the Lactobacillus rhamnosus was verified and uh, indicating that the fermentation finally has occurred. So moving to the phenolic content, as I mentioned before, uh, here I represented the uh, bound, the free component uh, of the native brand and the fermented brand, uh, for, um, fermented brand during four, 24 and 48 hours. And in general way, as you can see, an increase, an increasing of uh, free phenolic content, total phenolic content, uh, was found, while a significant decrease uh, in the bound total phenolic content uh, was found until 48 hours of fermentation. Uh, another aspect that I want to emphasize is that the uh, bound component is in this kind of matrix, in particular in bran, in cereal bran, uh, is always the preponderant one. Then, regarding the antioxidant activity, it was measured uh, with three widely known assays, and also in this case, the free antioxidant uh, potential uh, augmented and increased during the fermentation. This is very, very important because uh, an, anti an, um, an increased antioxidant potential, in, pr in particular the free com the component, could lead to a um, protection against the uh, oxidation and so doing so the, uh, an improved shelf life could be, could be noticed. Then uh, here uh, is the, the behavior of the bound antioxidant uh, component and that was the opposite so uh, this mean this mean that means that uh, the metabolic processes of lactic acid bacteria uh, were in action now i want to show you the total uh, the phenolic acid profile uh, determined uh, uh, with an hplc uh, msms technique the yellow line st stands for the uh, ferulic acid, that is the preponderant uh, phenolic acid found in bran, in cereal bran, and as you can see, history repeating. The uh, free component increases while the uh, bound component decreases. The same, uh, the same was for the synapic acids, but more interesting is the case of the caffeic acid. In fact, a high free component of the caffeic acid was found after 24 hours of fermentation, but the um, bound component of caffeic acid was uh, quantified below the low limit of quantification. Uh, so this indicates that lactic acid bacteria may be uh, responsible for the lignin degradation and thus release the, the, the monomers, in this case, the fake acids. Finally, the wall picture of the five phenolic acid, principal phenolic acids quantified in the matrix, uh, adding the paracumaric and the hydroxic benzoic acids. Uh, another technique that nowadays allows to collect a huge amount of information is the non-targeted approach. Using this approach, in fact, we um, uh, could identify some metabolites that could be a biomarker, represent biomarkers of, of fermentation. In this special case, we found uh, the amino acid degradation. As you can see, the, the structures uh, of phenylalanine was found, um, 
and then the, the that was easily metabolized during the fermentation, producing the phenylacetic acid and the uh, phenylacetic acids, and it, uh, their hydroxyforms. And here, as an example, I leave you the um, the steps required for the identification of these molecules. So we extracted the the the, the ion the the M, uh, mass to charge ratio uh, 165 of the phenylacetic acid. We found that in the uh, in the fermented bran and not in the in the native bran. Uh, and then we compare the mass to mass and mass third spectra uh, with some references. For the same way, other amino acids metabolites could, uh, were found, uh, and uh, these were very important because uh, could uh, lead to a, they are potentially and could contribute or have uh, bioactivity. Then, uh, talking about bioactive compounds, also microbial me metabolites of phenolic acids were found. In this case, the diethylferulic acid and hydrocyanepic acid were found in, uh, in both in a free form, and um, that, is, that is not uh, um, for bioactivity. But uh, this compound can contribute to the overall uh, organoleptic characteristics uh, that we found, uh, for example, lactic acid and citric acid um, compounds. So there are still uh, two questions to answer. Lab, uh, in this case, adds also the ability to degrade the phytic acid, the antinutritive anti compounds, where there are mainly uh, two uh, pathways for the uh, phytic acid degrada degradation. And can, can, they can act in synergy. So uh, the uh, endogenous and microbial enzymes are activated uh, by low pH, that is, uh, naturally produced during fermentation and in this case in our case we found a, a degradation of phytic acid that reached um, at 38 percent almost 38 uh, percent and this is understandable because uh, the degradation was only attributable to uh, bacterial enzymes because of the autoclaving step finally at the very last, I, I would like to spend a few words about the effect of fermentation about, uh, on the arabinoxylans. Arabinoxylans are uh, very important constituents of the cell walls in the, found in cereal grains. And, uh, but more important uh, is that the, the, soluble, the soluble ones are recognized for their positive impact on uh, uh, baked, in, in baked productions and baked goods. In, this, in our case, uh, the content of water extractable arabinoxylans uh, increased about uh, three times uh, during the, the, the lactic acid fermentation. In conclusion, the uh, metabolic processes of the lactobacillus uh, rhamnosus permit to release part of the bound component, increasing the antioxidant activity of the final product that could be relevant against uh, oxidation processes. Then the identification of microbial metabolites in their free form uh, is important, is very important because these compounds uh, may have different absorption and metabolic characteristics which may have significance in uh, their bioactivity, of course. And uh, finally, uh, these changes are likely contributing to the uh, differences in uh, technological nutri and nutritional and sensory properties. And we could confirm that lactic acid fermentation represents a, a valuable innovative technique that uh, could, could be a potential val uh, of valorization of these byproducts. Finally, I would like to thank my lab colleagues, my tutors, and you for your kind attention.